Good day, my name is Richard and a warm welcome to Tutoring with Richard where we cover the South African school syllabus and native topics. If you find these videos helpful, please consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links in the description box below. Today we're going to cover strength of materials in 6. The topic of this tutorial is coil elliptical springs. Example 7.1. The question is included in the video. We have been asked to issue a cautionary note. When doing these questions, please use the method I'm going to show you, as this is the method that is marked correct. Using your own method to answer questions could cost you marks, even though your method and answer might be right. See the cautionary note at the beginning of the video. On a side note, watch until the end of the video. If you watch only the first five minutes, you will not gain a full understanding of what you need to do. There is no quick fix in strength of materials. It takes persistence, discipline and repetition. You have to use these steps in order to succeed. Let's get straight into it. Okay, our question goes. A spring is compressed to a solid length of 100 millimeters. So a solid length, length, solid, is equal to 0, 0,1 meters. Everything always has to be in meters when a force is applied. The angle of twist in the coils is 8 degrees. So, um, theta is 8 degrees. When a load is applied, the diameter of the wire is 10 millimeters. So, small d is 10 millimeters, 0, 0,01 meters, and the mean diameter of the coil is 80 millimeters. So big D, 0, 0,08 meters. And G is 80 times 10 to the 9. Now our first to calculate the load applied on the spring, the shear stress in the wire, the strain energy, the stiffness of the coil, and the torque in the, in the wire. Right, first things first, the load applied. So, we want this, the symbol is D over 2, theta which is equal to 80 over 2 times theta, which is 8 degrees, which is pi 8 over 180. Which equals 5 comma 5 8 5 Newton meters. So, yes. Now, what we got is that equal 5, 5, 8, 5 Newton meters. Now, what we're going to do is take the number of coils. So L solid over small d. So the number of the length of the solid core is is 100 over 10. In this case it's 100 over 10 because we want the number of something. So this will be the number of coils which is 10 so coils is 10. Number of coils is 10. Now we'll get the deflection. Our deflection is 8 W D cubed N over G 
d to the power 4. What we want is w, the load. We want the load applied to the spring, which is w. So all of this, so this goes up top and that goes down. So we've got w equals g d4 over 8 dn. We put all our values in. g 80 times 10 to the 9 times 0, 0,01 to the power 4 times 0, 0,0055 all over 8 times 0, 0, 8 times 10. And that equals, W equals, 114,258 newtons. So W is equal to 114,258 newtons. So now we've found our weight. Now number two, the shear stress. So this is two. The shear stress is equal to eight W D over pi D cubed. So all we have to do is say 8 times 114,258 times 10 to the 3 times 0, 0,08 all over pi times 0, 0,01 cubed. So, our answer finally is 23,276 mega pascals. So, tau 23,276 times 10 to the 6. Now the strain energy is very simple to do. Strain energy, this is 3, and this will be U equals 0, 0,5 WD. So this equals 0, 0,5 times 114,258. times, oh, it's not D, my error, times 0, 0.005585. So equals, that equals 0, 0.334 joules. Now number four, the stiffness. S equals W. So W one one four comma two five eight over zero comma zero zero five five eight five.
and stiffness is 19,531 newton meters. That's question number four. And now finally we're going to do question number five, which should be done very quickly. Now five is the torque. Torque is T equals 0, 0,5 WD. Very simple, very easy. So 0, 0,5 times 114,258 times D, 0, 0,08 equals 4,57 Newton meters. Okay, the reason I've done this is because everything is divided by a thousand. So, because this is this is all in this is in kilonewtons. That's in yeah, it's in kilonewton meters, and this is also in kilonewtons when you do it like this. This is in kilonewtons and kilonewton meters. However, your answer does come out to newton meters because you're dividing by both, so it comes out as newton meters. And these are our answers. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. It really helps with the algorithm and to grow the channel. Positive feedback is most welcome. I enjoy reading your comments. Please use the comment section to let me know what topics you'd like me to cover in upcoming videos. Be at peace, be kind to each other, and remember, passing well is achievable. Have a great day. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.